that fight and you're able to control your emotions like no other fighter he's seen. How are you able to, to handle that and uh, where does that come from? Your ability to, to control your emotions and, and, and all that. Um, you know, back in, back in New Zealand when I was training and I was an amateur, or probably my first professional fights, like I said, I didn't have the proper guidance or structure or eating plan. So that, you know, even though I was going into fights, you know, I knew I, I trained hard, but I wasn't fully 100% you know, confident because, you know, it's still up in the air if I was doing the right thing or not. And I thought it was good. But then when, when I moved here and I started training with Kevin and we you know, we had a fight before the birth of fight, Bryce Rattani, where we were able to test ourselves in a relationship we had. And when I went into the fight and when the coach saw, saw that I was listening to the instruction and, and doing my best to try and do what he wanted me to do, that's when we knew that everything was clicking together. So that was a good practice run. And then uh, obviously coming back to Vegas after that fight and training more and, and learning. And I was like a sponge, taking in everything I can. Because um, it, it, it was a tough task at the time, you know, uh, fighting both of so on my fifth fight. So um, I think my confidence comes from the team I have around me. The work that Kevin and I do in the ring or in the gym. If we train hard and know we've given it everything, then there's no there's no reason why we should worry. So we went to the change room, you know, we were relaxed like Kevin said, playing music, dancing, telling jokes, laughing. And I think it's uh, when you're when you're that way, it's you know, it keeps you calm and it keeps you relaxed. You know, there's no need for you to overthink things. You know, when you go to the ring, there's a time to switch on and be a beast. But when you're at the back, just you know. You don't get nervous, like well, everyone has nerves, yeah. but. Like I said, the confidence comes from, like, I, I know that we, when we work hard here, then what more can you do? Talk to me about when that switch goes off. Like, how, how is it? Like, the moment you step in the ring, it's just tunnel vision, or? As when, we, when we step in the ring, you know, from what I, you know, every fight, when we step in the ring, it's just relaxed, relaxed. When it's time for us to come to the middle, you know, I have Kev there, I'm standing here with my opponent. Then that's when you know, that's like, when okay. That's when we start to click on. Mm. As soon as I finish giving Kev a hug, say goodbye, Boom, that's the time. That's it. That's okay. it. It goes no on right there. Around, yeah. Just boom, tunnel vision. You just see red, you see yeah, your you, opponent. You know, this person in front of you, you mm -hmm. want to get him out, get him out there as fast as you can. And you want to put on the, the best performance. But the, the, ma the main thing is executing the plan. You know, There's fights where we've executed the plan. There's fights where we haven't. So the plan is you always try to go there and, and execute the plan we put in place. Because there's a plan there for a reason. What was your favorite <clears throat> meal when you first got here? <laughs> uh, this is a favorite meal. Yeah. The one Tan thing where like you Tanya's ate and you're like, oh my god, I can't Tanya's believe they have this here. Tanya's a good cook. Um, <laughs> yeah. So most of the stuff that we've, no, most of my meals are at home, but you know, there's times where we go out on the weekends and we went to the Prime Steakhouse, we went to Sushi Samba and Palazzo and all these other, these places, man, they got beautiful food. I think Kevin and I also went to the, what's the other place we went to where they had the venison and all that, uh, who's the artist, what's the name? Uh, Oh, Picasso. Picasso, yeah. Yeah. Oh. They got good food. But, well, but that's only once, once in a while. It's Most a treat. We yeah, treat, it's a treat. We get treated every now and then to, uh, to a nice meal. To a really oh, nice. Sure. Yeah. What about tacos? Tacos is good. Do you, do you like tacos? <laughs> Listen, I'll take I, you to I the best taco food. spot. Yeah, you my love your food. I'll sit there and say it's my choice then on Saturday. It'll be tacos. You'll yeah, <laughs> yeah, like, hate that. But, uh, I love we, food. He wants us to go with that somewhere nice. That's my choice this week. Yeah. Yeah, all week he's been saying, Coach, where are we going? Where are we going? I'm going, I'm trying no, to. Don't put me under pressure, man. I've got till Friday. Two weeks before we went to the sushi place and nice sashimi. So this time it's him for, to pick this week. Yeah. I've asked him since Monday. Oh, he he asked me he's today. Like, he, told you. Ring, he, he said, told Coach, if you told me, if you don't, I said, Joe, I've got one more day. He said, Come on, man, where are we going? I want to know what we're doing. You know, I, I, I want to know where we're going. I want to know what we're going to eat. I love food, you know, so it's going to be a treat. Yeah. So, what's the surprise? Where uh, is he going? I think, I think um, we, you know, we've got a good buddy, Rich Moriarty, in town. Uh, he's just come in from Hong Kong and. Uh, I got a feeling we'll be going out to Prime Steakhouse. There you go. Steak. <laughs> Prime Seriously, Steak. Seriously, melts in your mouth. <laughs> yeah, it's one of the best steaks in Vegas, for sure. <laughs>